Hi guys. Uh, I know it's been a minute, but uh, I wanted to welcome you to a new series that I like to call Cooking with Serena. Um, this is a new series that I'm going to be doing every Monday, I think, or whatever day of the week you guys choose. Um, let me know what you guys think, if you guys want more of this. Um, I'll be making something different every week. Um, tonight I'm going to try my hand at making a last green card. Now, um, I've made, I've made different things over the years. This is the card that we have. And I'm also going to be showing you the different ingredients that I'm going to be using. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, let me get my pan set up and we'll get started. Okay. I'm also going to show you the ingredients I'm going to be using. Um, now, so if you make basic Alaskan cod, which you can find in, I'm pretty sure, in any grocery store, um, this I believe I found at Aldi's about maybe about a month or so back. Um, I'm going to be using for seasoning Old Bay seasoning, uh, lemon pepper, just a touch of this, because the Old Bay is what's going to make it uh, good. Uh, maybe a touch of garlic and herb. So, that's what I'm going to be using. For, for the seasoning just kind of round. Now, as far as my options and seasoning, um, if you guys have a seasoning you want me to try, or you want me to test out, let me know in the description below or in the comment section. You know, let me know where you found yours and stuff, or what you use on, you know, your fish and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab me a plate here. Also, um, I do want to highly, highly, highly say this. Um... If you are cooking for other people, um, please keep in mind if they have any allergies of any type to seafood, shellfish, or shrimp, whatever, because you do not want to put this person in a hospital from anaphylactic shock. So, I just want to let you know and keep that in mind when you are cooking for somebody. Because my plan is to go to a friend's house and make, um, I was going to make a uh, slightly butter shrimp scampi for them, but uh, this person's husband is highly allergic to shrimp. So I'm not going to mention any names, um, but yeah, I found out he was highly allergic to shrimp, so... I'm going to have to come up with an alternative to, um, what to make for them. They said I didn't have to cook for them, but I told them I wanted to because that is the kind of person I am. Now, me, um, this is kind of like a bad... Bad habit, I guess you could say. Um, I tend to sometimes overdo it with my seasoning. My taste buds can't tell sometimes. Sometimes you can, but not always. So, 
Okay. So now that my um, Alaskan cod uh, is ready, we are going to go ahead and add uh, cooking oil. There we go. Now I use a different, I, I sometimes use this, which is Pam. You can find this at your local Walmart or local grocery store. Or you can have to go with the off-brand version, like Dollar Tree or whatever. And then I use this, Healthy Chef. All the stuff I use is no stick. So when I'm cooking something, it don't stick to the pan or whatever. Um, and also, it also has always has canola in it. So, zero calories, cholesterol free, and fat free. So, now that we have that, and now that we have um, all of our seasonings on, which I will go ahead and show you guys that. Okay, so these are the seasonings that are on it. Then we have all that on it and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, put my seasonings away. Um, I'm gonna tell you all something that my father has taught me. Um, clean up as you go. Because it'll just make, so when you come to do dishes or something of that order, um, it makes cleanup very much easier. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead, put this on. And, go ahead and grab a spatula. I am cooking this um, from frozen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, put the lid on this, just let that, let that sit in, in cook for a minute. Now, uh, as I said, I know it's been a while, and I know you've all been wondering where I've been. By the way, um, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Um, Hopefully, you know, you guys made it through the holidays, okay? You know, for those who don't celebrate, for any reason whatsoever, you know, hopefully you had a good day. Because we have to keep in mind that some people may have lost someone in previous years or the last year before, um, during the holiday season. So please be gentle with their hearts and yours. Um, when speaking about holidays and stuff. So sometimes it might be hard for other people who might be grieving or, you know, whatever. And, you know, they may just not be in a celebrating mood. And that's okay too. You know, I didn't really, I didn't really do too much this, this holiday. I mean, I went, I went to dinner at, like, this club that, that hosts the Christmas dinner every year. So, you know, I've always been, I've always been going to that every year around Christmas time, ever since I moved back to the area I'm living in now. 
Um, also, if you can, I know you haven't seen me much during uh, this holiday season. Also, since I picked up a part-time job. Now, the plan is this job is already over for the season. Um, but, you know. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying to, um, with this fish over, well, cod or whatever you want to call it. Now, I, I am still new to the world of cooking like anything. Um, you know, I'm still particularly new to it. And, oh yeah, that looks good. It's quite nice. Um, I am still relatively new to the world of cooking. Now, mind you, over the past how many months and years that I've been living here, which I've been living here for about two years now, um, you know, I, I've come a long way. Um, you know, I have... I had good people fighting for me to gain my independence as a disabled individual. And I can honestly say there are perks to being able to live on your own. You know, you can cook for yourself, you know, no one really to, in a sense, tell you, you know, what you have to do, what time you have to be in bed and all that. Of course, I go to bed at a decent time, because I always have stuff to do the next day, unless it's a weekend. Even so, I still gotta get up and clean the house and whatnot. So... For now, I was gonna make something else with this, but I think tonight is to keep things on the on the simple side, um, I'm going to stick with Alaskan cod. Um, I could be wrong. Um, I do have several different collections of stuff. Um, what all I have, I will have to go through my freezer to see what I got. But, you know, I am at a point where I'm working on organizing my house and stuff. Okay, I think we are done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And like I said, most of the ingredients I use tonight um, most of the ingredients I use this evening, uh, you can find at your local Aldi, Walmart, what have you. Um. <coughs> So that's going to do it for this cooking series with Serena. Tonight I made an Alaskan cod. Um, let me know what you want to see me make next week. Um, and if, uh, <coughs> if I don't receive any suggestions, um, maybe next week I'll show you how I made uh, my garlic shrimp scamp, garlic butter shrimp scampi, and sauteed, sliced sauteed tomatoes with Old Bay and lemon pepper next week. 
Now, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.